are you an N Power customer? Have you ever complained about their customer service? You would not be the only one because they are three times more complained about than any other energy provider. And of every 100 customers that N Power have, three complain about their customer service. So I want to know about bad customer service. I want to know about good customer service as well. Where is the best? Where is the worst? Uh, and if you are an NPower customer in particular, are you one of this three in a hundred who've had reason to complain about them? Let's speak to Helen Dudney. Helen is a big fan of complaining. She writes the Complaining Cow blog. Hello, Helen. Are you all right? Hi, I'm fine. Are, are, you the, are you the Complaining Cow then? I am the Complaining Cow, yes. I've been called a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got an NPower account, have you? You, you and NPower were made for each other. Uh, I have got an NPower account. Oh. <laughs> and bizarrely, um, I have found them okay so far, but I switched only a couple of months ago, so there's still time. Oh, I didn't know that. You see, so there you, you find stuff out every day, Helen. There you go. The complaining cow joins the most complained about energy company in the sector and has no reason to complain. Yet. That's shocking. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Is that how you look at it, Helen, then? That one, one way or another, a major company will hack you off and lead you to being, uh, to being upset. I hope not. I don't go looking for bad service, but when I get bad service, I will complain about it. Um, I mean, I actually think three in a hundred is is really quite low. I'm sure there um, there are more people that have had problems with them that haven't complained. That's you know that's the trouble. People don't complain for a variety of reasons. Um, but I don't go looking for it. But um, I mean, I have complained about energy companies in the past. Certainly. Have you have you had problems with Helen? And what kind of problems you had? Um, just energy or, or, or well, room? just in general, yeah. Who's the worst you've had to deal with? Oh, uh, for me, the communication companies, the communication companies, and also that they're awful at communication. Don't absolutely, tell me. Absolutely, <laughs> Very absolutely, good. that absolutely hit the nail on the head. I've just taken um, Virgin to um, CSAS and, and won. To what? To CSAS. It's the ombudsman. CSAS. Yes, C I S A S. Oh right, okay. Um, and it's basically the ombudsman for for communications. Oh, okay, the yeah. Broadband, like the financial ombudsman and the energy ombudsman. Yeah. Um, and I've taken them through that process a couple of times, but when um, people contact me through social media, it is by far um, the most complained about and the most annoyed about sector. Um, I get asked the advice about how to deal with that for, for all of them. You know, Sky, Virgin, BT, they're all really, <clears throat> really poor. Um, and there are certain electrical companies that um, get I get asked about a lot as well. Um, I've, I mean, I complain about uh, anywhere where I get bad service and, and faulty items. But certainly, Do, is I'd there say, anywhere? Is there anywhere, Helen? You, you, you kind of would praise customer service because, you know, it, it has become a bit of a default, I think, in this country to moan. Well, in general, actually, I think we're very good at moaning, uh, but particularly to moan about customer service. But, uh, you know, have you had examples of really good customer service as well that you'd, you'd think, yeah, you know, that company did really well. It might have been a tough time that they were in, but they actually handled themselves pretty well. Yes, I have. And I do. And I do write that up about in my blog as well. And I've, I've put that... Um when I've complained about a company and how they've dealt with that complaint. Because for me, everybody, everybody makes mistakes. It's how they deal with it yeah. that's, that's the issue. And if they deal with it well, then, then that's all well and good. So I think Dunelm dealt with a, a complaint for me very well. Marks and Spencers have. Um, Lakeland Plastics, very, very good. Um, and also you tend to find out other people are saying that they're very good as well. Um, but it, it does tend to be the same, same ones. Um, AO, um, they're very, very good, but they have a different sort of ethos on, on how they treat their customers to a lot of other companies. And I think that that has a lot of bearing um, on the kind of customer service that one receives. Helen, great to speak to you. Thank you. Helen Judney, she runs the Complaining Cow blog site. Lovely name. I like it. Um, <laughs>